Hello everyone. Welcome back to my video tutorial for single cell RNA and DNA data analysis. In my previous video, we performed single cell RNA sequencing data analysis using molecule 3 and we saved the CDS file. Today we just need to read the CDS file into R. Then we can continue our trajectory analysis. So we just need to load the package molecule 3. Then we can read the save the CDS object into R. So let's plot the cells to check if it is the object that we saved last time. So okay, you can see we have eight cell clusters and the cell clusters are annotated as smooth muscle cells, parasite, alveolar fibroblast, IRA fibroblast. The rest of the cells are cell contamination because in this experiment, they purified the mesenchymal cells from human fibrotic now. So for our analysis, we don't want the cell contamination. We just want to keep the smooth muscle cells, parasite, and both fibroblast clusters. Then we can subset the cells, use the choose cell function in molecule 3. This is the similar function as the subset in surat. But this one actually is very easy to use because you can visually choose the cell clusters to a subset. So let's run the choose cells function. So it opens another window using the shiny package. You can see we have all the cell clusters here. So it is very easy to select the cells that we want to include for analysis. So first we can select the cells for smooth muscle cells and the parasite clusters. We can click the choose button. You can see the cells became black color. Next we can select the IV fibroblast. We can click the choose button again and the cells became black color. And also we need to select the Vienna fibroblast. We need to do twice for this cell cluster. We can click choose. We select this area again and choose it again. Now you can see we select the mesenchymal cells population for further analysis. If we click done, then we generate a object named the CDS subset. So let's run the um, reduced dimension function again to project the cells in two dimension only for selected mesenchymal cells. We also need to find the clusters. We can use the same resolution we used in previous video. Now we can visualize the cell clusters use the plot function and we count the cells by the cell types. So you can see the U map changed the cell projection. We have smooth muscle cells here, parasite cluster down here, then LV and a fiber blast and the LV fiber blast. So I want to save this object because they are pure mesenchymal cells. So before we do the trajectory analysis, we can use some important mark genes to identify the fibrotic cells. And later we understand where they come from. So PDGFB marked 
Smooth muscle cells and the parasite ACTA2 is a mark for smooth muscle cells. RGS5 is a mark for parasite. The CTHRC1 is a marker for fibrotic cells. So let's uh, uh, run the plot function. We can zoom in to have a better view. You can see PDGFB has high expression in both smooth muscle cells and the parasite clusters. And the ACTA2 is high in smooth muscle cells and the parasite and also the airway fibroblast cluster because uh, because all the cells came from the fibrotic lung they express high alpha smooth muscle actin then you can see rgs5 largely enable the parasite cluster more importantly the cthrc1 Enables the Meyer fibroblast in the fibroblast cluster and also enable parasites in the fibrotic lung. CTHRC1 is one of the markers for Meyer fibroblast. We can use other Meyer fibroblast markers such as collagen 1A1, collagen 3A1, and the paraostin. So let's run those markers. Let's zoom in again. You can see collagen 1, A1, 3, A1, paraostin, and the CTHRC1 have high expression in the Meyer fibroblast cluster. So we want to make uh, one more plot to see the uh, CD34 and the PI16 positive fibroblast. Because this cluster of cells has been confirmed by previous study, that is the cell cluster to give rise all the fibroblast in human lung, including healthy lung and the fibrotic lung. So let's plot uh, the markers for CD34, PI16, SCARA5, and MAP5. We can zoom in, you can see CD34, PI16, SCARA5, and uh, MAP5 enable nice small fibroblast cluster. So now we are ready to perform the trajectory analysis. Because we analyze the single cell RNA data set using molecule 3, so now we can run next step to learn the graph. So let's plot the cells before we order the cells by layer PCU to them. We plot the cells and count by the cell types. So let's zoom in to have a better view. You can see after molecule 3, learned the trajectory graph. It draw two projections. One is from the smooth muscle cells to the uh, parasites. The other one is for the fibroblast. Because now we counted the cells by layer cell type, we actually couldn't see the direction of cell differentiation. Then we can order the cells according to layer PCO to time in differentiation. Let's run the function to order the cells. Once again, we open the shiny app because we need to select the start point for cell differentiation. So from um, previous publications, we know smooth muscle cells act as a progenitor cells to generate both um, smooth muscle cells and uh, parasite in fibrotic lung. So this cluster is smooth muscle cells. We can see that the first one is the start point for 
next branch. And also for the fiber blast, we use the MacGene CD34 and the PI16 to enable the progenitor cells. We know this cluster are the progenitor cells. Then we can select the start point from here. Now we just need to click done. Then we can go back to R to plot the PCU do time. So let's plot the cells according to the PCU do time. So you can see that the progenitors are colored by darker blue color and the differentiated cells are colored by the yellow color. So you can see from this branch, smooth muscle cells are in black blue color and the parasites, especially down to here, they are in yellow color, which implies a differentiation from smooth muscle cells progenitors to generate a parasite. Because we know there are not so fibrotic parasite in fibrotic lung and healthy lung. Then in the fibroblast uh, clusters, you can see cells in this region are in dark blue color. The cells in here and also including the myofibroblast cluster, they are in later stage of differentiation. So we perform the trajectory analysis for the single cell RNA sequencing data for the human fibrotic lung. You can see this is a very straightforward analysis once you have analyzed the data set. So I'm going to stop here for the demonstration. You can follow the online tutorial. They did further for the branch point analysis and also if you fancy to generate a 3D a graph, you can make a 3D trajectory graph. And then this is very cool. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to convert a threat object into CDS object, then perform the trajectory analysis. Hope to see you in my next video. Please subscribe my channel and uh, Share my channel with your friends. Thank you and see you next time.